My name is Kevin Coleman. I'm with the skid steer and compact track loader uh, product group out of Sanford, North Carolina. And what we're really excited to talk about as a new offering for the CAT D3 series skid steer and compact track loaders is CAT Command. Now CAT Command is something that Caterpillar has had available for multiple machines, but we're now bringing that down into these smaller products, the skid steer and compact track loaders. And so to kind of refresh your memory, CAT Command essentially is a way to remotely control a machine from a great distance, basically anywhere in the world via a station. And we've got multiple products that are available that way. We've got excavators, we've got small wheel loaders, we've got you know, dozers, we've got other products that are available. But now you can take that technology and apply it to skid steer loaders. And what's exciting about that is it's a couple of things. One, it obviously takes the operator out of the seat and out of the application that may be hazardous and allows the machine to run and do the task that needs to be done. You know, you're looking for the efficiency of the workforce, the efficiency of the labor force that you have available. And with that, you could potentially have one operator control multiple machines in multiple locations across multiple time zones and have that efficiency of the workforce. The other thing it does is it allows the operator to work comfortably from that distance uh, for maybe operators that are getting, uh, you know, later in their years and, you know, aren't as mobile as they used to be, can't make the transition or don't feel comfortable making the transition every day up and down and out of a machine. They can very easily sit in the station and we can retain that talent and that operator talent pool that you have for that kind of application. You also have the opportunity for those who might be mobility challenged to also, you know, go and sit in the operator station, which is very easily accessible in an office somewhere. Um, and then it could even apply to the, you know, the military workforce that are coming out of the military. Maybe they've been injured in the, you know, support and the service of our country and they're coming back into, you know, the workforce and the public sector. There may be opportunities for, for them as well. So it's a really exciting thing. We've already had that technology, but bringing it down into other products really allows the customer to get that return on investment by having an opportunity to run multiple machines. As an example, what we've got behind us here, we're running a skid steer 2,000 miles away from where we are right now. This is Clayton, North Carolina. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. So it's really exciting. Um, the other thing about it is, is that unlike some of the other products that you may have talked about in the past, Skid Steers now has the capability to also offer another solution. This is what we call our non-line of sight. So off-site, if you will, non-line of sight solution. We're gonna have a line of sight solution as well, which is a more local solution, which allows you to use a console that would have a shoulder strap. And then you have joysticks and controls that replicate what is on the machine right in front of you. So you can, within 300 meters, 1,000 feet, you can operate that machine and again, remove that operator from that hazardous task, whatever it may be. Or maybe you need a different viewpoint on the task you're trying to accomplish. You know, maybe you don't want to be in the machine, but you want to be out of the machine and you need a different view angle for what you're doing. So we're going to have that opportunity to have that console line of sight solution, which will be uh, available along with the station solution that has been, you know, part of other products in the past and now includes skid steers. So we're really excited about those things. But, you know, there's also the opportunity, the, the last thing is that it, it doesn't mean that those machines are dedicated that way. If at any time you need to operate it manually, have a person in the seat of the machine, both with the line of sight or the non-line of sight, you can do that. You can put in a manual mode, you can get in the machine, operate it like you normally would. So very excited about that technology and that opportunity for our customers and specific applications. That's what's the beauty of having the different solutions, right? So. Typically, you're going to have customers have larger fleets that are going to be more interested in the station from that standpoint because it does take some infrastructure in order to support that. Many customers have operations that involve multiple machines, and the skid steer is kind of the utility knife of the construction industry to some extent. So most every site, most every application will have skid steers as part of that fleet of machines. And so not only you know making that investment for larger machines like the excavators or dozers or the wheel loaders, you can have that, you know, again, scaling and that uh, return on investment of that infrastructure by having it applicable for multiple machines. So that's one piece. And then for a more lower cost solution, you know, you've got the local line of sight, you know, on site solution where you can still take the operator out of a, a challenging environment, like I said and uh, have them operate the machine safely. And, you know, the real gains in either case are, you know, you know production, we talked about uh, the, the, the use of the, the workforce labor, also production from the standpoint, if you take the operator out of that environment, 
you could still potentially operate that machine while a task is going on. An example would be like cleaning under conveyors. A lot of times you have to stop the conveyor if you're going to have a manned machine cleaning in and around uh, the, the conveyors. But those potentially could continue to do the work that they are doing while you're doing the cleaning that needs to be done as well. So. Again, that, that scaling of the productivity, not only of the workforce, but also of the task at hand.